Shalom Chabri, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Tragedy has struck the uh, Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, right now, there are different conflicting reports as far as the number that have been killed in the report. Uh, we covered this on IsraeliNewsLive.org earlier this morning as the event unfolded, as the information was coming out before we came on our own broadcast. We were wanting to find out all the details as much as possible. There is still, though, conflicting reports as far as the number of dead in this synagogue attack. We do know that at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, it is reported that three different synagogues uh, have simultaneous events uh, or meetings on Shabbat, on their Shabbat services on Saturday here. Uh, but thus far, we're hearing that anywhere from four to ten people were killed in this attack. The attacker, Robert Bowers, has already been identified as a 46-year-old male, male that took to the social media right before going on uh, and seeming to be very disgruntled against the Jewish community. And uh, I want to play briefly here for you, though, a little bit of CBSN. And what they were saying is they were on location this morning at 11.44 a.m. Listen in. Uh, we know from police sources that uh, he came into this building that was crowded with uh, Shabbat and uh, people attending a bris ceremony and indiscriminately shot up the building, uh, shouting anti-Semitic statements that all Jews must die. Uh, we know that this is a hate crime. We know this is a, a, a horrific mass shooting that's uh, happened uh, throughout the United States. States of America, uh, but now it has happened within the city of Pittsburgh. It, uh, <clears throat> Just to kind of give you a little insight there of what they were saying this morning, and he did, he was from what we've heard thus far. This was actually picked up on the police scanner that he was shouting, all Jews must die. And uh, we have RT is reporting that there were eight that were killed in the attack. Uh, CNN was reporting that uh, four were killed, 12 were wounded, uh, including three police officers also that were wounded. And I don't know if that number is in, in the same uh, category as uh, the 12 that were shot there. And the Associated Press is coming out just moments ago uh, that we got that from Ami Stein saying that 10 are dead in the, in the Pittsburgh shooting there. Also, I noticed, though, too, that the uh, police there that, had, that were on the scene uh, were there in full military gear uh, reacting to this shooting. And I'm already starting to see the direction that this is going in, and I want to play... Uh, although I'm not a great fan of CNN News, but I still want to play the clip here from President Pence and what he says about this. Uh, it kind of lets me know there definitely is about to be some changes in the law as far as freedom of speech, uh, independent media. I know President Trump is saying that if there was an armed guard there in the synagogue, uh, maybe this would have turned out much different. And that could be so. It could have been, too, that the armed guard would have been killed. Uh, but uh, there's still the gun right activists are already uh, gearing up for yet another mass shooting here in the United States. Uh, Russia uh, had one recently in Crimea where gunmen uh, took down a, a bunch of students there. And this is a, by the way, for those that are not aware, this is a United Nations uh, ob objective is to disarm the entire world as part of a new world order. Listen to this, though, because it kind of lets me know where the freedom of speech is going to be going. And, uh, of course, <clears throat> somebody running around saying that all Jews must die. I definitely don't condone anything like that. I don't think that regardless of your opinion about uh, a, a particular religion or whatever to, to incite death against those is completely wrong. And that, that's something that should never be done. Uh, and, and I would agree with that, that we should never condone uh, the death of others just because you may have a diff disagreement with what they believe. It should be done in a peaceful manner. Listen, though, to President, uh, Vice President Pence and his comments on this issue. What happened in Pittsburgh today was not just criminal. It was evil. An attack on innocent Americans and an assault on our freedom of religion. There is no place in America for violence or anti-Semitism. 
and this evil must end. I'm pleased to report to my fellow Americans that the President has directed the full resources of the federal government to support the investigation. <clears throat> now the question is, is where will this lead? When we speak about anti-Semitism, where will the lines be drawn when it comes to that? Because in our case with Israeli News Live, we have been calling out the crimes of the early Zionists and what they have done against the, uh, uh, against the Jewish people during the Holocaust. Would that be classified as anti-Semitism when you expose the crimes of the Zionist leaders and what they turned their deaf ear to the thousands and thousands of Jews that were killed in the Holocaust because they were more concerned about creating the state of Israel? That's going to be yet to be seen. And, uh, but the thing is, right now, the most important issue that we have at hand is the tragedy that has happened here at the synagogue inside of Pennsylvania. And, of course, our thoughts and prayers go out to those victims, their families, and, of course, the survivors. It is a horrendous act. And anti-Semitism, regardless whether it's against the Jews or Christians or Arabs, is definitely something that should not be condoned. But it can't be a one-way street either. Uh, you know. But then again, we also want to keep in mind of safeguarding freedom of speech, but freedom of speech without violence, I think, is where we should consider those, uh, those things to be brought up at. Uh, but anyway, uh, also one other thing, too, I want to bring out to you guys real quick here. Reuters is reporting Russia, Germany, France, Turkey call for a lasting ceasefire constitutional meeting for Syria. Uh, that was an interesting meeting there because it was actually the uh, we had the German Chancellor Merkel as well as uh, French uh, uh, French uh, prime minister there that were, were actually at this meeting. And, uh, you know, to see that they have joined with President Putin and uh, 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 President Erdogan of Turkey in calling for a lasting peace in Syria makes me wonder what direction is this going to go? Are we winding down with the war or is there still more fighting to come? Uh, after all, we know that there has been practicing of the S-300 once again to try to overcome it in Ukraine. And there are some that have suggested that the downing of the Sukhoi uh, 24 that had the American pilot in it was one of those uh, uh, times they were trying to outmaneuver the system. I can't say that that is actually so. I don't know myself uh, as far as the details of that plane, why it actually went down uh, or not. I don't think it was shot down. I think it was just a malfunction of the plane. But nonetheless, there has been reports that, the, uh, that Israel, uh, with American allies, have been trying to figure out how to outmaneuver the S-300 again, as they did in Greece some time back. I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We will speak to you guys again. Don't know if it'll be later today. We will be speaking on Patreon later tonight. Uh, again, sharing some inside information with you guys there. So those of you that like to join us on Patreon, it's Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash Israeli, I-S-R-A-E-L-I, news live dot, well, there's no dots in that case. It's just Israeli news live after you do that. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. Don't forget, support the broadcast. You can do so by going to our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. In fact, let me jump in there real quick just for you guys to see IsraeliNewsLive.org. And you can donate there online, but also not to forget about the upcoming conference there, right there at the top of our website. For more information, just click on that. We'll be in uh, uh, Kansas City, Kansas. Only 34 days to go before that meeting there. Hopefully I'll have up this weekend uh, an, some inside clips of things that have been spoken about in this meeting there. Uh, the meetings in the past in Tennessee and stuff that we can share with you so you can know a little bit more about the information that will be shared. I'm Steve Bennett. This is very news on.